Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Season Pass 1 currently available on the PTR. A ton of questions I have been getting and comments I have been seeing on the forums and even in my Discord tend to be around how possible it will be for a solo player to complete the track. The worry seems to be, if they purchase it and invest, will they actually have the ability to complete it solo? Or will they be locked into playing in groups or losing out on rewards? So I thought I would talk about that as well as show you just how easily you can go through the reward track. If you're a busy person and have no interest in the breakdown, I will just say now. You can easily do this solo, you will easily complete it, and there is only one step really that requires a group of five, and it won't be a hugely difficult step to complete. So if that's all you came for, please remember to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. However, if you would like to know a little bit more, and what you will need and what you will be doing, let's get into it. So first, let's have a look at the chapters and if a solo player, who only groups casually, will be able to complete them for the rewards or not. We'll briefly go over them, and but we won't be covering them all. I don't want to go over every single step of every chapter, especially the later ones. What I'm attempting to highlight is just that you can solo them. So, Chapter 1. The first important thing to look at when talking about the chapters is that you do not have to complete all of the objectives to receive the chapter bonus. You can see here it says complete 5 of 7, so that's good. You can now pick and choose which you need. You get no additional bonus for completing all seven aside from the season XP they give. So in chapter one, we won't have any trouble completing it. You get one objective just by being 60. Then complete one expedition. Well, that's easy. Every player in the game will be running Empyrean Forge in the first week to get the codex unlocked. Next, complete Sky Spear Daughter Quest. Again, this is an early stage story quest and won't take more than 20 minutes. Kill 60 Vangarian Knights. This one again will auto-complete if you run the expedition. You see, because that's the important thing to remember with this season pass, many of the objectives overlap. Then this one, complete three faction missions. As we all know, that's five minutes in your favorite faction running zone. The next objective is just to play five songs. This is not affected by your ability to play music, simply the act of playing the songs. Capture a control point. Capturing a control point can at times be difficult. So skip this one if you wish, but in most cases, you can always nab one. The seasonal adventure one is very, very easy and will likely complete itself when you're doing the other stuff, but it's just to complete an activity card. And by complete, they just mean turn it in. Fully filling it in or completing a line is not needed here. And finally, easy easels. This is just collect one vista, again, an easily soloable one. And to help, linked below in my guides, you can find the location of every easel on the map. So completing chapter one, no problem for a solo. It'll take less than an hour. So let's look at chapter two. So first, the curse of the faceless one. Again, a very early quest in the storyline. This one is easy and fast. And next, our first encounter with an overlap. This objective will auto-complete if you ran the Empyrean expedition for the last chapter, because the last objective was to complete an expedition. This one is to complete a 60 expedition. So that one run will complete both of these. Then you will need to complete four town projects. Nothing special and easy to finish. Now the next one. If you're a shrewd and hold off on completing your expedition and wait till you have this quest, which comes only half an hour into your main storyline, you will then in one expedition run complete this objective, the complete 60 expedition objective, as well as complete any expedition objective all at the same time, making the absolute most of your time investment. Then from this expedition, you will get flame cores, which you can now use in the forge. This will complete this one. The next one you can skip for now, but remember you have three months. Likely it will complete over that time naturally, but isn't needed to progress. And next complete 10 faction missions, which isn't 10, it's only seven, because you already did three in the last chapter and the running total goes for the whole season. Now for the next chapter, all you need to do is play two songs in a group. You can of course skip this, or you can just find someone else working on playing two songs. And for the final objective, complete two activity cards, which is only one because again, the counter continues from the last chapter. Now, entering into chapter three, here is where the true solo player will need to start picking and choosing a little which they wanna do. The first chapter, the possibilities of fire. This is an easy quest and you will complete it with no problem. And next, this is where you will encounter your first potential skip. You will need to complete a mutated Empyrean Expedition Forge run. Now, this again is only mutation one, so nothing too difficult. But if you choose, you can skip this without any worry. Next up is to complete two seasonal challenges. These are things that take some time, but are completely solo for the most part. So this won't be difficult. The next one, craft 25 gypsum orbs. This one you can start to prepare for today. Each day leading up to this launch, do all of your gypsum tasks daily, but do not use the gypsum to craft orbs. Just toss it into your storage for now. And by the time this drops, you'll have way more than 25 orbs worth. 
There is no cooldown on orbs, of course, only on the casts, so you'll have more than enough to complete this without issue. And next, the Flame Core Forge. You will have to use it two more times, because your first time counts towards this also, so no big thing here. And the rest, see they're all easy, upgrading your heart rune, finishing up the story chain, and completing three PvP reward tracks. Nothing you can't do solo, even in less than a day. So again, Chapter 3, also an easy solo. I won't go through all of the rest of the chapters, but you get the idea. They're all easily soloable, with a couple you will need a group for but you can skip those. It seems that they set it up so that you only need 5 of the total, which means you can solo complete without any option here. The most important thing here is I wanted to put your mind at ease. A very casual, even solo player will, without much effort at all, receive all of the bonus rewards from the chapter completion. This isn't locked behind any huge group content requiring insane PvP or a company. And as for the activity cards, these are solo for the most part, with a few mutations and group content tossed in. They have to put something in for everybody, but the important thing, neither is overlooked. And with the ability to reroll tasks with Azoth, you will never find yourself without something you can solo. And finally, daily tasks like completing aptitude crates and the like. These will all give you seasonal experience, and a significant amount. So you will have no trouble completing this and receiving all of your rewards long before the season ends. So I do hope this answered those questions you guys have been asking, as well as alleviate your worries. You will have no trouble playing casually and still completing the seasonal reward tracks. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.